And here we are again. Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Phantasmagoria 2. Last time, we did a little bit of exploring in the Wintech basements, and also Therese died, which we are very sad about. And now, of course, we are the main suspect. What happened? Oh, I think you know. Damn it, I didn't kill her! I think you did, asshole. It's just a matter of time before you're arrested. I just hope to God it happens before you slaughter somebody else. Oh boy. How you doing, Blob? Are you okay after all this? What the hell are you looking at? Oh, I think my rat got loose. You better find it before I do. Hey, don't touch my rat. <laughs> oh, could things be any more awkward? How did she get out, anyway? I wouldn't have hurt her. Not ever. Is that right? You two had a strange way of showing your affection. Please, Detective. I need to know what happened to Therese. A lot happened to Miss Banning, actually. I guess the short version would be that someone strung her up and fried her in her very own blood. I'll get him. Whoever he is, I swear to God, I'll get him. I'm sure the good people of the city will rest easier knowing that. Why aren't you after Paul Warner? I mean, he's the one who's behind all this. I mean, he'd do anything to protect that, that, that threshold project, whatever the hell that is. Gosh, I better go arrest him right away. Oh, uh, and just for the record, who gave you this information? Space aliens? Get, out. Get the hell out! Fine, but I'll be back, you son of a bitch! I'll be back to nail your ass to the wall! Could you use any more cop cliches? <laughs> uh, how you doing, you sexy devil, you? No! Oh. Not so much. Okay, then. Let's not look at the mirror again. Let's check if Blob's alright. <laughs> you know, you never guess what I thought I saw, Blob. And for a second there, I thought you were the Jurassic rat. <laughs> <laughs> I want a giant rat. I want a capybara. Those things look cool. Anyway, if we're looking here, for some reason, we put our wallet back in there. What is this even? I don't know. So yeah, we need to go in there and get it. And of course, on a new day, we want to check the mail. Yeah, I'm just skipping the scenes. Hmm. All that was in there was the business card. Interesting. Maybe that's a sign. Um, I want to call the doctor, but I guess we can't. Um. Oh, maybe we have to be on this screen? No? What am I missing? Oh, maybe this is this was the mail. Meet me up. Oh, no, never mind. Let's see. Did we just not get any mail? I guess I skipped the thing where we got didn't get any mail, but okay. Wow, you look uh, kind of nervous there. I mean, that's just a picture of the people. I 
I love you, blah. And no matter what, I'll make sure someone takes good care of you. Aww. So is that the sequence trigger we needed, or...? No? Okay, then let's just head to the office. If I can. I can't exit. Did I not get the mail? Oh, I think I actually remember that. You go and look and there's no mail, then you turn around and something drops in, and I skipped the cut that cutscene. Okay. So yeah, it's just a little thing that I missed. What the heck? In fact, you know what? I'll sh I'll even show it. Okay, here Where's it is. Mail? No mail. Here by now. And then that happens. Okay. So luckily I'm able to skip really past fast uh fast past cutscenes. So let's blob and now we can call the doctor. Doctor Ricky Harburg's office, how may I help you? Um, I have I have to see Dr. Harburg right away. I'm um I'm having uh, problems and I uh This is Dr. Harburg. Doc, this is Curtis. Um, um I'm, ha I'm having troubles. I need to see you. I, it's Therese. She, um, she's been murdered, and I. Oh God, don't, don't tell Dr. Merrick. He's, he's in on it. I mean, they're all in on it, and, and I. Oh God, Doc, I have to see you. I have to see you now. It'll be all right, Curtis. Come on over, okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What can I do for you, Dr. Ricky? Trisha, could you alert security? One of my patients is on his way over, and I believe he's in the middle of a psychotic episode. But please, don't have him intercepted. Just ask security to be ready if I call, all right? Will do, Doctor. Dr. Harburg? Something went down here. I guess we're going to take a look. Beautiful work. Curtis, just spectacular. The good doctor is truly your masterpiece. I didn't do it. 
I couldn't have. I wasn't even here. You didn't use your hands, Curtis. You don't have to. You used your mind. Your diseased, twisted, murderous mind. Get it. Get that thing. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is not going well. Okay, let's uh, let's get out of here. But not like that. So it's uh, simple enough. Just uh. To go through this again. Just go now while he's not looking. Hey! Jesus, Doc! Oh boy. Yeah, it's time we go back to Wintech. We need to get to the bottom of this once and for all. It's still the same cutscene of him going into work and being <laughs> just his self. All right, so uh, let's go into our cubicle. And yeah, we need to access some more files. What do you want from me? Who are you? Don't you recognize me, Curtis? I'm just a part of your own twisted mind. If you'll just give in to me, let me take over. You'll be so much happier. It won't hurt. What? No! Okay, let's uh, get away from our own computer. Let's try another one. Uh, how about Bob's? Okay, never mind that. How about good old Tom? How many gray t shirts they had for this guy just uh, in case they got covered in blood and whatnot? <laughs> Alright, none of these cubicles are, cubicles, cubicles are working out. So uh, let's just go into Warner's office. As always, we want to 
check our email. Oh, uh, right here. Um, why? Why did you kill me, you son of a whore? Okay, that was kind of rude. I forget when Tech can get out of here now from Trevor Barnes. Oh, Trevor. I mean, from Marianne Crib. We'll be together again soon, my love, my monster, my baby son. Soon we'll be together forever. Then I can kill you, you murdering freak. I'll rip out your black twisted heart. Soon, soon, soon. From health to Curtis Craig, Craig from Curtis Craig regarding health concerns. Dear Curtis, I really think we should check ourselves into the hospital right now. That nice Dr. Merrick will take care of everything. We won't have to think. We won't have to feel. Uh, we'll all have to do is relax and ride the Thorazine. If we take enough, we won't even feel the scalpels or the shocks. We promise not to make it hurt that much. I trust him, don't you? Hurry, Curtis, before we kill someone else. Your friend, Curtis. Okay, let's, uh... Log out of us and get back on as Paul Warner versus Carpe Diem. I think was it memos? Oh, gold mine. Here we go. I think this is new. But first, Mr. Darion Kemmler, J.G. Haig. Gentlemen, I am writing you with an urgent attempt to gain more funding for the Threshold Project. We are on the verge of an incredibly important breakthrough. If we succeed in utilizing the dimensional rip known as the Threshold to synthesize the chemical Lotus B according to specifications, if it actually has the effect on the human body that we believe it will, a wind type will become a multi billion dollar bag we get corp overnight. I understand that some of you have reservations. The failure of the Threshold to adapt to military applications, along with the Jonas Craig debacle, most definitely setbacks to the project. However, once we discover the Threshold Dweller's ability to synthesize chemicals, the setbacks gave it significant. I don't know why this always happens. Whenever I'm reading something, I start yawning. It's the same thing I'm a writing tutor, and when I'm reading someone's paper, I start yawning and it looks bad. I don't know what the deal with that is. Um, Gold mine that shines before us is virtually bottomless. A partnership with the US government would have been nowhere near as lucrative. Imagine, if you will, an antidepressant as subtly and strongly addictive as nicotine. Their side effect is gradual loss of excess body fat. Everyone in the country, everyone in the world, in fact, will want it. Before long, everyone will need it as well. It's all yours for the taking, gentlemen. If you'll just grant us the funds to finish our research. Let's see if the power. I would take that drug. I could lose some of this, this uh, spare tire I've got. And we have a symbol here that we can print out for some reason, so I guess we're going to print it out, I guess. Uh. And I uh, want to stay on that because we want to read the BD address. Gentlemen, good news. Our external sources tell us that Wintech is indeed the only company currently researching interdimensionality and its potential. Oh, wait a minute. Have we already read this? We have. Okay. So, uh, let's get out of here. And, uh, just leave. And if we go in here. Trev, you scared the crap out of me. I Curtis, mean, I listen, you... listen, listen. I've been delving deep into the company network. Just leave it alone, man. It's bad. I can't, Trev. I can't let it you, go. You, you don't get it, Curtis. I gave myself top clearance. I saw. They've been synthesizing illegal drugs. Curtis, they've killed before. Oh, my God. I'm going to the cops. No job is worth this. But Curtis, I want you to stay out of it. I don't want you to get hurt. Curtis. 
you know I love you. So the only likable character in this game has been killed, but he does have one thing we can use. Is that thing we are seeing? I click on it one more time. We now have a card that will give us top access. So what is the Threshold Project? What does it have to do with us? And what or who has been killing all these people? All will be revealed in the finale of Let's Play Phantasmagoria 2. Thank you for watching and have a good day.